Hello, history scholars! Mrs. Olson here with a short video lesson on the American Dream. Now, before we get started with the slideshow, I'd like to share a few thoughts with you. And those are, we have been exploring the U.S. ideals that have been set up through the U.S. founding documents. We have started thinking about the extent to which all groups of people are included in those ideals. Now we will continue this thinking by reflecting on our understanding of the American dream. Many people in the U.S. believe in the promise of the American dream. They believe that through hard work, anyone can have it all in the U.S. But is that really true? We're going to start this thinking through an exploration of a poem by a famous American poet named Langston Hughes. Okay, so at the end of this video lesson and then with the assignment that you are going to do with the Langston Hughes poem, you should be able to understand how the American dream is defined. Okay, so here's the definition of the American dream. It's an ideal that the United States is a land of opportunity that allows for the possibility of upward mobility. So think social classes, uh, freedom and equality of people of all classes who work hard and have the will to succeed. So I chose this graphic to represent um, the modern ideals or the modern representation of this definition in relation to the American dream, okay? Because we're going to talk about other ways in which the American dream can be perceived or thought about. Okay, so if we go back in history a little bit, in the 1950s, the American dream was perpetuated by a nice house, a mom, a dad, 2.5 kids, a white picket fence, green grass, and camping or fun or other types of activities on the weekend. As you can see here with this family enjoying their time at the lake, they have a boat, boy has a bike, um, this is the outboard that dad can fix, Wheaties box on the table, they have all of these things to play with, and mom cooking up lunch, dinner on the grill. Okay, the American dream. Here's the house, the white picket fence, the green grass, the blue sky, no pollution, no other things really in sight, life looks grand, okay? If you work hard enough, you can have the American dream. All right, now there's another way to think about the American dream, and this, these thoughts are, from Howard Zinn, who is a historian, and he wrote in his book, A People's History of the United States, I've always resented the smug statements of politicians, media commentators, corporate executives who talked of how in America, if you worked hard enough, you could become rich. The meaning of that was if you were poor, it was because you hadn't worked hard enough. Pause and think about those thoughts for a minute. If you work hard enough, you can become rich. And if you're poor, that means that you haven't worked hard enough. I knew this was a lie about my father and millions of others, men and women who worked harder than anyone, harder than the financiers and politicians, harder than anybody, if you accept that when you work at an unpleasant job, that makes it very hard work indeed. So as we think about the different perspectives of the American dream, actually that is, that is what I want you to think about with the American dream and how to look at that from the different perspectives, okay? So from where you're sitting right now, try to answer this question out loud in your head to yourself. What is Zinn saying about hard work in the American dream? 
Okay, so some graphics, a cartoon, if you will, a political cartoon about the American dream. Here we have different people, different walks of life, trying to get there to the American dream. Here's another one. If you want to look at any of these for a little bit longer, go ahead and pause the video so you can look at the different details that are included in these political cartoons. Okay, so this one says the American Dream Game. This is the starting point in the game. It looks like here, white people can go this way. Black people can go this way. And then once again, I'm going to have you pause the video so that you can see all of the different pieces on this game board. And once again, we are thinking about the different perspectives of the American dream. Okay. That brings us to the end of this short video lesson on the American dream. You're going to use this definition for with, um, within the next assignment as you analyze the Langston Hughes poem.